reincarnation of the strongest exorcist in another world. I love this idea because you have a lot of the other shows which have like, oh, maybe I'm going to try this out. <laughs> maybe I'm going to have this. And you have them more being like, not 100% like innocent. They try and like keep their powers under wrap, but this person is being like, I'm just going to hide behind this person. We're going to make them the strongest person ever and no one's going to know what I can do. Obviously, there's some moments where he like shows his hand a bit more. But I just love the idea of being like cloak and dagger. And some of the times it's like, oh, we're looking for this person. Because clearly this person defeated this person. And I think that's just insane. And I think overall, all of it is just fun, creative. And again, another reincarnation. I watch a lot of these. <laughs> I'm surprised I found five C things to review last time that didn't have reincarnation in even one of them. <gasps> but here we go, here's two in one day. Anyway, this is for like the next two days. This will be Saturday's review, but I'm not recording on Saturday because I want to be out. I'm even doing like, uh, doing the week thing like two days early. I might upload the um, days, but if that comes, I'll just put that on a Monday. Well, it will be uploaded on the Saturday, but I'll count that as Monday. Anyway, that's besides the point. This is just a fun, insane series, and it deals with, like, these sort of, like, this magic system with, like, the spirits and, like, sort of, like, again, bringing them to here and being, like, that's an interesting idea and really fun. And I do like some of the characters, and I think it's just overall just a fun series, so I recommend to watch. <laughs>